Back in the last century, people started implanting various electronic devices into their bodies to improve their health. Today, technology has gone a step further. Elon Musk's Neuralink project will allow people with disabilities to control objects with their thoughts. Is this safe and what should scientists expect in the future? In America alone, approximately 5 million people are living with the effects of motorotid to severe brain injury. These are car accidents. These are some accidents after which a person has come out of a coma, is functioning, but he is not the same person he was. You may know someone like that too. And it's a very difficult situation when you have the world around you expecting you to think as fast, but you think slower. What if implants could help people regain their cognitive function even after a serious brain injury? A team of scientists from Stanford and Cornell universities recently published a study in the journal Nature in which they showed that implanting chips into the thalamus could help people with brain injuries improve their cognitive function. The study involved six people with brain injuries who had difficulties with attention, memory, and speed of information processing. The implants were implanted in the thalamus, an area of the brain that plays an important role in cognitive function. The results of the study were impressive. All participants in the experiment showed significant improvement in cognitive function. Specifically, they improved their attention, memory, and speed of information processing. One of the study participants, a 22-year-old woman, says that after her brain injury, she was unable to read books and tired quickly. After the chip was implanted, she was able to return to her studies and work. But let's not forget that such breakthroughs in bioelectronics are not limited to neural implants alone. Consider the history of pacemakers. It is the most common electronic device that is still implanted in the human body today. Since the first sample was developed in 1961, tens of millions of people continue to use it inside their bodies. Few people know that the technology of the first pacemakers was based on a dangerous radioactive power source, plutonium. It allowed the heart machine to work virtually forever. But scientists did not recommend using nuclear power for pacemakers because of the risks associated with radiation. In the late 1970s, cheap lithium batteries were used in the life-saving gadget, so there was no need for radioisotopes. If we talk about the simplest prosthesis that interacts directly with the brain, it is a cochlear hearing aid, which has been used since the 1960s. This device comes to the aid of hearing-impaired people when conventional hearing aids are no longer effective. The device is a kind of conductor between the ear and the brain and consists of two parts. The first is the implant itself, which is inserted into the inner ear. The second is the speech processor, which is worn on the outside of the ear. It picks up sounds through a microphone and transmits them to the electrodes of the inner implant. Eventually, the sound signal is restored and the person hears. In 2002, two British students, James Auger and Jimmy Loiso, developed a dental implant that acts as a radio receiver and a telephone at the same time. The chip is placed under the dental filling and can receive and transmit sound signals from the tooth to the inner ear via Bluetooth. Thanks to this device, a person can listen to the radio over the internet or talk on the phone without holding the device in their hands. The University of Edinburgh has created microchips that will help fight cancer in real time. They are implanted into the human body to monitor the state of the tumor from the inside. This gives scientists the ability to most accurately use radiation therapy to kill cancer cells. After learning about the possibility of using microchips inside the body, the world found people who literally stuffed their bodies with electronic devices. Devices. For example, in 2014, Dutchman Martijn Wismeyer also decided to implant an RFID chip under his skin. Since he worked as a marketing manager for Bitcoin ATM manufacturer General Bytes, he linked the chip to his activities. So, his chip stores his Bitcoin keys and business card. Handy for not forgetting important information and quickly sharing contact information with people. He also reportedly programmed the chip to wake him up daily with a... Another person trying to make his life easier with chips is Debian operating system developer Jonathan Oxer. One day, using a veterinary tool, he implanted an RFID chip under his skin. He needs it to open doors without keys. In general, the man loves electronics and has stuffed his entire Melbourne home with them. When the mailman puts a letter in his box, he gets a notification on his phone. And even the curtains in his house are equipped with motors that are triggered at the touch of a button. That at least was the case a few years ago. Currently, many scientists, 
from Elon Musk to specialists from MIT and the US Department of Defense are researching brain implants. The main goal is to prevent brain cells from aging, increase the duration of a person's conscious activity, and, at best, expand the capabilities of the thinking process. Neurochips raise both major interest and major concerns. American Matthew Nagel found himself paralyzed after he was stabbed during a fight in 2001. The man's spinal cord was injured. Sometime later, he was offered to participate in an experiment that could partially solve the problem of his immobility. Thus, Matthew became the first person in the world to be implanted with a BrainGate brain implant. It allowed Matthew to move a cursor on a computer while the man visualized in his head how he moves his hands in reality. Using this technology, the American man learned how to turn on the TV, change channels, and even control a robotic arm. Matthew Nagel's story inspired many people, including Elon Musk, who created the Neuralink project. This startup is developing an implant that, like BrainGate, is capable of transmitting signals from the brain to a computer. This device was first shown in July 2019. Neuralink implants are planned to help paralyzed people as well as patients with other neurological diseases through the computer to control various devices with the power of thought and even restore their lost motor functions. The chip looks like a coin and is 23mm 0.9 in in diameter and 8mm 0.3 in thick. The microprocessor is implanted under the skin and connected to the brain. The entire operation is performed by a robotic surgeon who drills a hole in the skull and attaches electrodes. According to Musk, the surgery is painless and does not require anesthesia. The patient can leave the clinic the same day. No marks are left after implantation and the owner does not feel the chip as a foreign body. The microprocessor reads data in the brain and connects with various devices via Bluetooth at a distance of up to 10 meters, 39,4 in. The implants are already being tested on monkeys and pigs. For example, in 2021, a chip was implanted in the brain of a nine-year-old macaque, after which Neuralink showed a video in which the primate plays a video game with the power of thought. And in December 2022, Musk showed another video from the laboratory where the monkey asks for food by thought. The footage shows the animal moving the cursor over words on an on-screen keyboard and asking for fruit. Neuralink calls this technique telepathic typing. According to Musk's plan, in the future, Neuralink chips will be able to support the control of Tesla cars and even some computer games. In early December 2022, Elon Musk promised to implant chips into the brains of paralyzed people in six months. He noted that his company will act carefully. According to him, the necessary precautions have already been taken during previous similar studies when the chips were implanted in animals. The billionaire is in a hurry as he is breathing down his back competitors. For example, the Australian startup Synchron last year has already received permission to start human trials. And in the USA, they have developed implants embedded in the brain, which will be able to restore a person's memory. This will be possible due to internal stimulation of neural connections in the brain. Some experts are skeptical about the possibilities promised by the project of Elon Musk. Anna Wexler, a professor of medical ethics and health policy at the University of Pennsylvania, asks a logical question. Will scientists be able to collect information from our brains and use it at their discretion? Experts interviewed by Bloomberg cautions that the type of brain surgery proposed by Neuralink is far more invasive than most competitors in the industry. A piece of the patient's skull must be removed and wires implanted into the brain tissue. There are also experts who believe that the human brain is very complex and any incorrect intervention can harm it. According to them, in order to decipher all the information that our brain brain transmits, we need much more knowledge about it. And this is the main. What else will be implanted in humans? The American company Boston Scientific has developed a brain neurostimulator called Versice, which is designed to treat people with tremor, chronic shaking, including essential tremor, minor's disease. The implantable device contains a battery that can last for 25 years without replacement, and the device itself can be very finely tuned to the patient's anatomy and needs. Scientists from the Massachusetts Institute of Technology Technology, MIT, are developing a robo-capsule that will deliver drugs directly to the intestines and allow people with diabetes to refuse insulin injections. And scientists at the University of California at San Diego are working on a smart pill to measure glucose levels. According to the idea, it is enough to swallow a small capsule, which will measure the level of glucose in the intestine. The obtained data are recorded by a receiver fixed on the patient's body and later analyzed by doctors. 
Specialists from Electrozyme have created a so-called metabolic sensor which reads the necessary information from human sweat and allows athletes to assess their electrolyte balance, the degree of muscle tension, and physical performance. The specialty of the device is that it is made in the form of a temporary tattoo. 